Hey there you great people. I hope you're all having a great Christmas Eve and a happy Christmas to you all. I'd just like to say as well, even the far south of Cornwall where it can be quite isolated and quite lonely, um, especially in a place that begins with a P and ends with an E, I really do wish you a happy Christmas as well. And that's from the bottom of my heart and I actually mean that. Um, it could have been a much better Christmas but there you go. So as a special, with it being Christmas time, I'm bringing you a first my channel. And this is a video from the Anglophenia channel, YouTube channel. Uh, so hopefully I don't get copyrighted. And as 78% of you, uh, my subscribers, are actually in the great USA, I thought you'd find this especially interesting, to be honest. Um, difference between what you do for Christmas and what we do over here, apparently. We'll see the video. And I have actually seen a couple of my uh, YouTubers I'm subscribed to who are in, Amer in America who've done this exact video. Um, so if they've done it, then hopefully uh, they've not been copyrighted and neither should I be, I hope. The video anyway is called How to Have a British Christmas. I hope you enjoy. Let's get on with it. Burning letters to Father Christmas, setting off explosives at the dinner table. These may seem crazy <laughs> to you, but they're perfectly normal behavior at a British Christmas, or as we sometimes call it, crimbo. Here are 10 Christmas traditions that never made it to America. And by the way, yes, I am having a whiskey and coke, but where I am, it's currently 7.37 p.m. on Christmas Eve, of course, so Let there you go. Letters to Father Christmas. In America, kids write letters to Santa and put them in the mailbox, but in England, we toss them straight in the fire. We're not trying to make children cry. Burning mm -hmm. the letters sends them directly to the North Pole, where Santa can read your Christmas wishes in the smoke. Yes, it may seem a little okay. weird, but it does save on postage. Children do actually hang send them. Stockings. To American children well, we're here. traditionally hang stockings around the fireplace for Santa to fill with presents. That's but what in we the say. UK, we hang stockings around the bed. Being surrounded by presents is a great way to wake up on Christmas morning, and a great way to let Father Christmas, a total stranger who's been watching. I like to just say though, with the stockings, you don't hang them on like the head bit of the bed. They're normally at the foot of the bed, uh, sometimes even on the floor. And they're not like your main presence in them, the little stocking fillers, they're like the little bits and pieces, not your main presence, usually. All year, get really close to your sleeping body. That's weird. Sweet dreams. Also, instead of leaving out milk and cookies for Father Christmas, we leave him brandy and a mince pie because he is a grown up. Christmas crackers. A cracker may not seem like the most festive thing you don't to put cheese on it, by the way. dinner, but these are not the type of crackers that you put mm. cheese on. A Christmas cracker is a brightly decorated cardboard tube filled with fun prizes. When grabbed and pulled apart, a tiny explosive inside makes a loud cracking noise, hence the name. Inside the cracker is usually a cheesy plastic prize, a, a paper crown, a and a terrible joke. Why are ghosts so bad at lying? Because you can see right through them. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> that is pretty lame. Though. Christmas hats. Inside the Christmas cracker are colourful paper hats that it is absolutely mandatory to wear. In fact, 90% of Christmas arguments stem from trying to make your grumpiest relative put their paper crown on. Normally, I'm like, I don't want to wear one. Play Monopoly because there are some Christmas traditions that we share, unfortunately. Christmas dinner. A British Christmas dinner is just as... Just like to say with the leaving brandy out for Father Christmas and that, maybe she's really well spoken, well she is, and probably middle class, you know, middle upper class. So maybe her and her family leave brandy out, but the average British person, I can tell you now, leaves a mince pie out and milk, like you do in America. But obviously she's middle upper class, so maybe she leaves a nice cognac or brandy out for Father Christmas. Normal people don't, it's milk and her... Yeah, mince pie. A feast as an American one. The main dish is usually roast turkey, often surrounded by bacon wrapped chipolatas, which are mini Love pork them. sausages. Bacon wrapped Love miniature them. pork sausages. Now, that's a tradition that you Americans should get behind. Yeah. We serve the turkey with roast potatoes and veggies, traditionally Brussels sprouts, Ugh, which are gross, no, thank but it's you. tradition, so we eat them anyway. Ugh. We have gravy to smother everything in, and something called bread sauce, which isn't a sauce to put on bread, but a sauce that's thickened with bread, which looks a little lumpy, but tastes delicious. Then we eat. It's a bit like the white sauce you get in America, you know, you have with biscuits. You know the biscuits? Uh, it's a bit like that. I don't like any of it, and all honesty, tomorrow at my sister's fiancé's, 
I don't like all the vegetables and all that. I'm sorry, I do like some vegetables, but I don't like the Christmas ones like Brussels sprouts, cabbage, and whatever else they put with it. Uh, parsnips and all that stuff. I will literally have some carved turkey, gravy, a few Yorkshire puddings, a few little Yorkshire puddings, and maybe if I can bother some mashed carrots uh, that's got salt and pepper and some butter in, and that'll be me. Um, after a prawn cocktail starter, and lots of alcohol before, in between, and after, hopefully. <laughs> We can't move and watch telly until we pass out. Sound familiar? Christmas pudding. Americans love to have their pumpkin and pecan pies for Christmas dessert. Mm, but in the that. UK, we have Christmas pudding. This is a very dense, boiled cake flavoured with dried fruit and spices. It's then soaked in alcohol, aged for several months, set on fire. boiled again, soaked in alcohol again, and then set on fire. Come to a British Christmas, we soak everything in alcohol and then light it on fire. Hell yeah. The Royal Christmas Message. That's right, every Christmas day, Her Majesty the Queen gives a holiday speech. Oh, unfortunately this year, I don't know when the video was made, but unfortunately this year, but keeping with tradition, obviously this year it should, well it will be King Charles the Third. Our new king, obviously, as of this year, uh, giving the Christmas uh, message on Christmas Day. Although, when you sit on Christmas Day, the Christmas message, it's not actually filmed on Christmas Day. It's filmed weeks in advance, uh, but it's just broadcast on Christmas Day. Reflecting on the events of the past year, we all sit around pretending to pay attention, but secretly carrying on with whatever it was we were doing before. Yeah, Thinking drinking. it as the state <laughs> of the union, but with much more gold. Boxing Day. Boxing Day is the day after Christmas Day. Its origins are debatable. 26. Some say that it's a day when workers would receive a box of gifts from their bosses. Others say that it's a day when people would box up gifts for the poor. But the main thing that happens on Boxing Day nowadays is shopping. It's kind of like our Black Friday, only nobody gets trampled to death. Okay. Pantomime. Every year around the oh, Christmas no. halls, Annoying. every Annoying. in the country Pantomime. Sort of pantomime. No. Not for me. It's a place for kids based on fairy tales such as Cinderella and Aladdin, involving a lot of high camp, cross-dressing and audience interaction. They're normally starring jaded celebrities, so if the idea of seeing David Hasselhoff in a dress excites no, you, you, you should definitely check one Maybe out. Maybe Pamela Anderson, but the not him. Tree. We Brits believe that the Christmas tree and decorations should be taken down within 12 days of Christmas, otherwise you'll have bad luck for the rest of the year. This is maybe a tradition that Americans should consider adopting. I've certainly seen people keep their old, brown, dry, faded <laughs> Christmas twig. trees until almost Big the twig. of July. <laughs> Those are some of the major differences between British and American Christmases. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more episodes and let us Thank know you. in the comments Good what video, you think actually. is the most important part of a proper British Christmas. Happy Crimbo! <laughs> Tis the yeah, I enjoyed that. I thought I'd do something different for you. Uh, so I hope you really enjoyed it as well. Like I said, currently 78% of you are subscribers are actually in the US on my channel. So I thought I'd show you differences. Uh, She's all fairly accurate with most of it. I uh, did point out a few little tweaks, probably, uh, to what she said. But, yeah, it's fairly accurate. I hope you're having a wonderful Christmas Eve anyway. I'm literally, like I said, I just poured a little whiskey. I think it's famous grouse whiskey with a bit of Coke. A little bit of lemon juice squeezed in there. Uh, Dad come round. He literally left about half an hour ago. So he left at, like, about quarter past seven. He come round for an hour. I had one bottle of beer. Um, I give him his Christmas present, which he doesn't know yet. But it's about a 12 year old bottle of vintage Taylor's Reserve Port in a nice presentation box. So I give him that wrapped up. So he left with that about half an hour ago. Uh, but yeah, have a wonderful Christmas Eve and a fantastic Christmas Day. There's a good chance I might even do another video yet. We'll see uh, on time. Like I said, it's about quarter to eight in the evening now. I've still not eaten a single thing, but so I better eat in a minute. Uh, but I still might manage to squeeze another video in yet. A few great people. Uh, Hope you did find that interesting anyway. Please check out my other great content and playlist, of course, on this Paul B. Hossin 85 on this wonderful channel. I'll try to be wonderful. Also, please do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And please tell your friends and family about my channel. Try and spread the word. Try and get me some more subscribers, views, and everything else. Thank you all so much. Merry Christmas, and thank you again.